because no one wants to get on their hands and knees to grab something from the back of a cupboard. I'm a maximalist in a minimalist space, so you know I've got a lot of stuff in my apartment bathroom cabinets. And it's been a hot minute since I've cleaned out those cabinets. So stick around and I'll share with you my best cabinet storage and organizing ideas that are quick, easy, and affordable. So let's start with this drawer. Now, it honestly needs a good purge, but nah, some other time. I'm not unhappy with how it looks, and I think the small organizers are working well here, so I'll leave it for now. This cabinet, however, needs a bit of help. I'm going to start by pulling everything out of the cupboard and wiping down the shelves. I know I need to put a larger bin down here, but I need to also be able to still fit this basket. And this bin does not work. However, this wash bin fits perfectly. I'll use it to store some personal hygiene products, my ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, which I did remove from the box to save space, and a stolen hair dryer. I'll explain that in a bit. I think I'm going to take a minute and clean out this basket. It has mostly hair stuff, but some random items as well, and a lot of it I don't actually use. And I think I'll move my epilady to this basket as well. I used to have two of them and an electric razor, so it made sense to have them separate, but now it just isn't necessary. Now I did clear off and clean the top shelf, but the footage is of the floor. I absolutely love these baskets with handles. They're often labeled for use in your refrigerator, but I use them all over my apartment. They're great for sliding in the back of a cupboard because the handle makes it easy to grab. Now, one organizing rule that I try to follow is if I have two or more items that are out loose, I try to put them in their own container. Since I've got a couple of straggler items from the bottom shelf that I want to put in this basket, I'm going to do a bit of reorganizing. Now, on the other side of the sink, this drawer also is pretty well organized, so I just clean it out and then replace everything. And that includes this Q-tip container that now holds our floss sticks. Because you know, I am all about reusing containers. And even though our toothbrushes are in packages, I still keep them in a plastic bag to make sure they stay clean. Next is this cabinet. And as I pulled everything out from the top shelf, I found this weird thing, but then I found a bunch of razor heads and realized it's a holder for my husband's electric razor. I'm gonna keep a couple of the razor heads that he might want to use and toss the others along with the holder thing. And hey, just because you're a maximalist doesn't mean you don't throw away things. I pull out the basket on the bottom shelf and wipe down the shelves. Now a cardinal rule for maximizing storage in a small space is to use as much of that available real estate as possible. And when I removed the containers from the top shelf, there was a lot of unused space in the back. So I grabbed this plastic shoebox from my stash of containers and was super excited that it fit perfectly on the shelf. But will the other bins fit? Yes, they do. Maybe I should buy a lottery ticket. So even though they're a bit pricey, I really love an actual makeup organizer for my makeup. And I further organize with smaller containers as needed. And one of my favorite organizing baskets are these large, shallow baskets from the Dollar Tree. They take up nearly the entire shelf space, which makes them perfect for these lower shelves because no one wants to get on their hands and knees to grab something from the back of a cupboard. There's a bit of space on the side which fits my lighted mirror perfectly. Since I've got some space here in the front, I'm gonna relocate a few bottles to this smaller basket to make room for this giant bottle of vitamin C that I had in the other cupboard. We're almost done with this organizing project, but if this video has given you some good tips, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and join the Koala Crew by subscribing to my channel. Now let's finish organizing these cabinets. So if you saw my video on organizing your crafting tools, you'll know I am a big fan of caddies. I have all of my hair products in this caddy and my hair dryer, blowout dryer, and straightener are all in this large bin. When I do my hair, it's super easy to pull out these bins, do my hair, and pop them back under the sink. And I think that I mentioned that I'm always excited to reuse a container. I repurposed this tin to hold my husband's hairbrush and mousse. And of course, another caddy for all of my cleaning supplies. I'm gonna pull out everything else from this cupboard. I have no idea how old this teeth whitening kit is, but it is pretty dusty. 
And after searching a bit, I find an expiration date of 2011. So yeah, it's going in the trash. And these jars of jewelry container are seriously at least 25 years old. So they're going in the trash too. Now up to this point, I've just been using water on my sponge to clean everything, but I know I need something a bit more powerful. So I'm gonna use some window cleaner. And yes, it's pretty nasty, but it does clean up nicely. While I'm putting away things, I want to point out that I use a pump dispenser on my counter for mouthwash. It is super convenient for daily use, so the refill bottle can be stored in the back of the cabinet instead of needing to be handy. And of course, there are always a few surprising things that you'll come across when you're organizing your cabinets. A flat iron I thought I'd lost four or five years ago. Hmm. A pack of wedge sponges I knew I purchased several years ago and could not find when I wanted to use them for a craft project. And here's that hair dryer my husband stole from a hotel. Truth is, he thought it was mine. I love that he thinks I'm so organized that I have a travel bag for my hair dryer that says hair dryer on it. So this was a project that I kept putting off because I thought it would take me hours to complete. In reality, it took me less than an hour. I need to really keep that in mind the next time I want to procrastinate on an organizing project. I hope this video gave you some ideas and inspiration for organizing your own bathroom cupboards or really any space in your home. If you thought this was a quality video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and join the Koala crew by subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications so you get more small space organizing and decorating tips that are quick, easy, and affordable. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have a quality day. storage and organizing. <laughs> I use a pump dispenser on my counter for mouth. <sighs>